Hey, hello and welcome back to Nathan's Garage. I'm Nathan Kershaw and boy do we have an exciting episode today. It's coilover time. Now to pay for those coilovers it does help if I get some support for the actual channel itself. We have amazing merch which Wifetastic has designed and sorted out. Head down to the description below and you will see all the links to merch and social media, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. There's also a PayPal pool tip jar and Patreon down there so you can support the channel in that way too. Now, let's put some shiny stuff on. Okay, so we're going from the generic XRified setup to back to original clamps, uh, original bush, poly bush. Can you see the issue? Hmm, me thinking a little bit of modification is going to be a uh, affected in that area. We have gone from that setup to that setup. So modified stock kind of ish. Um, both sides. So we have poly, poly, poly. Nice. That is what makes an XR feel amazing to drive. And then we'll do the back. Next, I'm going to whip out that, which is the temp sender, the water, the coolant temp sender. Whip it out and put that pinky purple ring one in and hope. Because I am dailyless right now, until the uh, XR is back on the road, uh, to put this hopefully working temp sender into the stock area so I don't have to mess about with the wiring at all, obviously, the threads, as you can see, are considerably different. So, putting an adapter in here would have taken that sensor end way up. Like, the adapter would have been here, and the sensor would have ended here, and would not be in the flow of water at all. So, we had a bit of a, we had a, bit of a JB Weld moment, which, in the past, has served me well. Let's hope it carries on. I also got a new one of those, because that was literally corroded off on the old one as it comes through. So there you can see what I'm talking about with the, uh, you know, this top being chopped down, the sensor goes into the waterway. I'm hoping that's enough. I really am hoping that's enough. One side is off. And something tells me I'm going to be winding this spring a lot tighter than it is. That's a slightly different comparable length. There we go. The order of happenings with the front coilover. So I took a measurement of a space that I needed. The measurement was wrong. Not unsurprisingly. So I bought myself these washers and I think I bought grade eight because I have literally killed about three of the Christmas trees and um, a drill bit because I can't drill them out. So what I end up doing is I have a pile of thick washers for a crown for Crown Vic body mounts. So what I ended up doing, chopping it out and making a spacer myself. Now I thought I was going to need two. Turns out I don't. Because all I'm doing is taking this top mount off this top spring cup, spring top, whatever. So it moves independently. So basically take that off, then you've got bearing and then this spacer. If you sit this directly on this bearing, it touches this. Um, so you just need that little bit of spacer, which runs in there. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Finally, we get to the point where we actually complete one unit to the point of getting ready to put it on. So I knew all these offcuts from the Mercedes motor mount tool that I uh, make would come in handy eventually because in the top of there you have an allen you know allen slot in the, the shaft itself you have to hold the shaft while you tighten this down when you're taking old ones out you can just put grips around behind the damper rod and buzz it off but obviously not when they're new when they're going in so through that hole which is a normal 19 that is going to fit look at that look at a well-oiled machine this is what you have to do when you inadvertently sell your daily too soon before your other daily is dailyable. 
going in, all terribly exciting. All the front hardware is in. Obviously it's gonna take some setting up, but we are all in. So I just wound the um, spring adjusters. They're pretty close to the top. I've got another inch, inch and a half to go if I want to, which I'm probably going to when I show you the, the like full droop on the other side. Um, so yeah, so sway bar and the strengthening bar with polys is in, those are in, everything's tight. Oh, and then you look at this side. Oh. <laughs> and that's full droop. Mm. Yeah. Obviously it's not going to move a lot because it's a coil over, but I think we're going to be going up some more. So I actually raised it about another centimetre, so it's even on both sides, but something tells me I may be dealing with a little bit of a hot rod rake when you look at the loaded back height and the unloaded front height. <laughs> Can't need, may need to put something under the uh, front wheels because I don't think it's going to be coming off the jack. you've got <laughs> a hot rod rake when the front's on bricks and you still nose down. Yay. So I think one of the main reasons for it being so low is obviously these shocks are designed for a Cosworth. Now they have slightly different knuckles. They're slightly taller than ours. Thus I've got like a an inadvertent drop spindle, if you will. So, we'll see. There's still about, I'd say, an inch that can be that the car can be raised with the shocks, which I think is going to happen. <laughs> and then also, uh, we have camber plates, and they mount to this part of the strut, thus lowering the top of the strut down. That'll give a bit more height as well. They may be getting purchased. We shall see. So I don't know if that has made a huge difference, but they're pretty much on max high right now. I don't want to go right to the top of the threads for the adjusters. But that's about as tight as it'll go. So it looks like... We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what it's like to live with and uh, if it's unlivable withable we shall figure out some top mounts to uh, lower the top that inch and a half two inches there goes the road warrior with his obscure to most beloved by some chariot
is true love. Look at our driveway. Look what I put up with. The new temperature gauge works as well. Excellent. I, exactly. I had so much anxiety. I knew you did. Yeah. And it works. Great. Awesome. Well okay. done. So we'll do the back end now so it doesn't look like outrun. Well done. <laughs>